This video is brought to you by Bitbox NES Game Cases. There's no better way to protect, store, and display your NES game collection. Only available at stoneagegamer.com forward slash bitbox. Hey guys, what's going on? This is John with GameStadion1.com. I'm here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, downtown Portland, having a great time. Let's see what some of my other friends have to say about their experiences as well. This is my first time at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It is so hard to go anywhere and not stop and look at something and buy it. I went to the bathroom 15 minutes ago and it cost me $60. Hey, uh, Expo is actually awesome. I love it. To the truth, I hate planes. I'm a little scared of planes, but it was totally worth it. But this place is amazing. You can find anything. There's a sweet wild gun. I'll never afford it. But this place, anything you look at is awesome. I just got a box. I love boxes. I don't know why. Three bucks for a box. I think it's a great deal. But, dude, I love it. There's a lot of people here, a lot of YouTubers. People come up to us. They know us. I, that's an awesome feeling. Like, for people to come up and say hi, I'm just like blown away. Uh, the expo's been awesome. I didn't know really what to expect when, when we came. Um, it's been awesome meeting all the other YouTubers. Uh, yeah, I'm just surprised at how cool the community is. Um, I don't collect games, so I'm not super into the gaming part, but the community part's pretty rad, and uh, yeah, I'm stoked to be here. Yeah, so this is my first year here at this Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and it's awesome. It's What me and Ricky do is go to swap meets every week and look for games. This is basically a swap meet that's only video games. This is like a gamer's heaven in here. Any game you want, technically, you can get it. It's just if you have the money for it. And the cool thing is a lot of these people are collectors themselves, so a lot of them are willing to work with you. You know, trades is a huge thing here. I know Ricky's about to get Pocky and Rocky too. Um, it's just fun. It's fun to meet everybody. It's fun to meet the YouTubers that you talk to every day online and to actually see them in person. And it's even cooler to know that 99% of them are more amazing or as amazing than you imagine them being. So it's a great time. Uh, so here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and uh, this place is uh, just as awesome as it was last year. And I already caught a, a person slipping. I, I found a Tengen Tetris for $13. Uh, apparently the person at the booth didn't know what they were doing. They were hired help, I guess, or maybe just a friend helping out. And uh, they put it out, marked it. I guess they marked it as the regular text of Tetris. So that was last night. It was really cool. Um, let's see, what else happened last night? Uh, a party of shirtless men. I wish I was making that up, but unfortunately it was. Alpha Mega Sin going around no shirt on half the party, but it was a blast. I can't, I can't, you know, I can't wait to see what happens tonight. Uh, Portland's an awesome city where it's always fun to be here. And what, what can you ask for? It's a convention full of games. So there we go. So we are at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2013. We had our panel earlier this morning. It's a Saturday, day one. Last night, uh, there was a pretty big party in our hotel room. We all got pretty drunk. Security came out, and well, by the third time, they kicked everyone out. But there's been a ton of games, as you can see. Well, maybe not this direction, but a um, ton of games here, ton of deals. Uh, it's going to get ready for day two tomorrow. It's amazing. I mean, the, we all know the retro community is just awesome. But I mean, there are so many faces here. You got the game chasers running around, Retro Liberty, obviously Gamester, Pat the NES Punk. They're so down to earth, they're willing to talk to you, meet you. Some great deals to be had. It's just awesome. It's it's a game gasm, if you will. There's just too much of everything. So I'm just having a blast and recovering from a hangover, so I'm hurting right now, but but it's it's worth it. It's awesome. Dude, I love it. Like every year, this is probably my definitely my favorite expo is a Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I mean, look at all the, the arcades, the pins. I picked up some awesome console games. But the best part is just meeting YouTubers. John, Retro Liberty, NES Complex, Vintage. There's a tons of people out here. I mean, this is what everyone looks forward to. Um, I've been playing Robotron so much that I have calluses built up on my fingers here. And uh, dude, I just love it out here. Like, where else, where else can you go and just have all these games on free play and there's nothing else like it. That's why I love this this expo so much. 
Hello, my name is Snessman. My real name is Patrick, but my channel is Snessman16. It's such an honor to be here. This is my first time at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and it's just fantastic. I'm an Oregonian, but this is the first time I've came down here and witnessed this. There's arcade games everywhere. I played some Robotron for the first time. That was amazing. Picked up some great Super Nintendo finds. There was Indiana Jones, Battletoads. All that stuff was just amazing for me. So. If you have never been to this expo before, it's just an incredible experience. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Taylor, the Radium Z Online. Got some great stuff today. Five bucks. Darwin's Twin Schmups are my favorite. What else did I get? The Atogi set. Space Invaders 91, which I love shmups and shooters. This is, to me, is like an awesome find. I just can't believe it. Uh, let me see here. My all-time favorite find today. Fist boxed 10 bucks. I couldn't believe it. Everybody was staring at me too. They're like, they're like, they're trying to steal it from me. Uh, and of course, my all time favorite GBA game, Tactics Advance. For some reason, it's a kid's game, but it still has that hardcore like RPG stuff to it. I, I love it so much. Um, it's a really big turnout here. This was the largest one so far. There's so many more people here and so many more um, people online that have been doing booths and stuff. So. I just want to say you're watching Gamester81 channel. Thanks a lot. Awesome. This year is also awesome, and it's nice to be able to meet so many YouTubers here. Uh, a lot of people that watch the show. I I'm so just humbled by everything that I'm seeing and all the people I'm getting to talk to. But uh, you know, I made my goal this year to find Turbo Graphics 16 games, and I picked up about 10 of them, like Blazing Lasers and Superstar Soldier and Air Zonk, and I just picked up a boxed copy of Legend of Zelda 2: Adventure Link for 28 bucks. It's in excellent shape. This is just amazing. So if you don't, if you have one show that you get to come to, Portland has got to be that show. Mr. Smith, I'm one of the DJs performing at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, I came out here to find some bargains, hang out with friends, and uh, just have a good time. So far, it's been a great experience. There's tons and tons of vendors, rare items. People are willing to make deals with you. Uh, tons of arcade games on free play. It's just been a lot of fun. A lot of fun connecting with people. This is a good central meeting point for other people involved in the retro gaming community. Uh, people like John here, who's actually filming me right now. And uh, it's a shame, I really wish that uh, Joe and Dave could have made it out, but you know, maybe uh, at some point. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Awesome, perfect. Hey guys, uh, it's Player Lives. I know I don't look too, uh, too familiar right now, but uh, maybe a little bit of more of that might just help you recognize who this is. But uh, first time at Portland, uh, five hour trip for me. Uh, it's been pretty good. I found a uh, complete copy of Fantasy Star on the Master System, only 20 bucks. Really happy about that. It's been a really good turnout. A lot of amazing YouTubers and people. And uh, Mr. John Gamester, he's here. Got him some Smarties. So, wicked awesome guy. And wicked awesome show. Very nice. So, I'm, I'm testing out this brand new dildo at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It is the only reason. It is the only reason why I've come here. Today. <laughs> oh man, I, I've, I've looked for a lot of dildos all over the place, I and I. Say, dude, it, it technically uh, went ass to mouth. That's really terrible. Yeah. It went ass to mouth. It did. It, it, that's, that's fucked up. I'm Captain Vintage. Ca Captain Vintage Video Game Geek here with us right now. Yes, are you boys behaving yourselves? Fuck no. Fuck hell no. If I was behaving okay, myself, right. then it's not nearly as fun. I, I got a question for you, uh, okay. Vintage. Okay. Do, yes. you, do you yes. enjoy dildos? No, no, I do not. Why are you, I'm, 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 why, why are you putting yourself close to your mouth? I, I prefer vibrators, actually. Well, the thing yeah. is, you can, you can click the bottom of it, and it goes into super vibration. Okay, mode. that's good. Uh, if it has batteries, I'm interested. You do know that Gamester's not going to record this because you mentioned the word dildo. No, you said dildo. I, I did I? I said vibrating. Oh, I, I thought I said vibrating. And then there was all the innuendo. <laughs> okay, I've got to go rescue Sexy some innuendo. People. But honestly... Rescue the shit out of them. Um, Alpha, what do you think? What, what's it been like for you today? Everything has been extremely sexy. 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 So, hey, you got it th third time's the charm. No, it's fucking awesome. There's a bunch of crazy shit going on. I get to hang out with the happy console gamer. Hang out with Game Alpha Sir. Megasin. Yeah. yeah. Game uh, Sir. Uh, Vintage Video Game Geek. The Death Game Chasers. Complex, <laughs> the Game Chasers. Retro Liberty. Yeah. There's all sorts of motherfuckers here, and it's awesome. Uh, yeah. If you're not here, I'm sorry to hear that. Good times. Same.